How to start a home inspection business and make $176,000 a year. There's a massive need for this business coming up around the corner, so you better get in right now. Interest rates are gonna start creeping down, and when that occurs, real estate is gonna start to boom. The market is still somewhat warm right now, but it's gonna be hot, it's gonna come back, and when it comes back, when people sell their houses, they need an inspection, and they need to pay a licensed inspector and you can make really good money doing this. Um, and so there's a massive need for this. Start this business now before the market gets hot so you're ready to go. My name is Nate Jones. I run this channel. I make videos on entrepreneurship, how to start businesses, how to scale businesses. So if you like that type of content and you wanna get to the next level of starting a business or scaling your business, hit like and subscribe. So let's get into this. I'm gonna go through how much it costs, how much we can make, the positives, negatives, and what you really need to do to actually form and start this business. So getting right into it, how much does it cost to start this business? It's about four to, $400 to $1,000, depending on the course that you buy for your license. Yes, you need to be licensed to be a home inspector. You can't just show up without a license. You have to be trained, and going through a course does not seem like it's that hard. It's not too expensive to get your license. It's also around $800 a year for software. You don't necessarily need this, but I would highly recommend it. The software literally puts all your pictures and your notes in a proposal that can be sent out for the home buyer or whoever's requesting the inspection. You need about $1,000 worth of equipment, ladders, moisture meters, receptacle testers, different things, different tools that you'll need. Not a super big expense for this. I really like this. You need to probably spend around $500 for marketing, creating a website, and putting yourself out there so when people search for home inspectors, you're showing up. Um, so doing some marketing, probably around 500 bucks. It's probably a little low. You could probably go more, but depending on how you want to really go after this business, I'm going to tell you how to really get um, a bunch of inspections flowing to your your business towards the end, but $500 is a good expense to get started. $700 for insurance, you're gonna need professional liability in case you mess something up, and general liability in case you cause property damage while you're inspecting a house. So if you need insurance for that, uh, let me know. I own an insurance agency, not trying to sell to you. I don't care if you do business with me, but if you really have questions about that, hit me up. Um, so total startup cost is $3,500 to $4,000. Pretty low startup cost. I really like this business because uh, I really like low startup cost businesses that you can turn a profit really quickly. Okay, so how much can we make? This is why you clicked on this video, because you saw the 176 and you're like, wow, that's good money. That's more money than I make. How hard can this be? So you can make about $300 to $500 per inspection. If the house is bigger, you can charge $500. I live in a big house. My inspection was around $500, maybe $600, I think. $500 to $600 because it's almost 5,000 square feet, so we had a lot of space that needed to be inspected, so that's how much you can charge. The time it takes is about two to four hours, so reasonably one can do probably two inspections a day. You could potentially squeeze in three, but I said let's be conservative and let's do two a day, five days a week. You could probably do six days a week if you did Saturday, um, since real estate sometimes is really quick turnarounds, but let's just do five days a week, so 10 inspections a week times four weeks is 40 inspections a month. If we average our cost per inspection is about $400, times 40 inspections puts us at 16,000 a month in income and revenue. We times that by 11 months. I took out a month for vacation, four weeks a year. It puts us at $176,000 a year in this business. Okay, so what about the profit, Nate? What what are our expenses? You know, let's see how much we cash flow. Minus our $4,000 um, startup cost, we're looking at about $172,000 in um, cost of goods sold, expenses of 172 of cash flow. Now you have expenses of driving your car, different expenses like that. So really you're probably gonna be around 155, 150 is a rational with this kind of um, projection that I'm making here, about 150 in profit, which is really good because this business has very low overhead. So I'm gonna go through the positives. That's my first positive is low startup cost. Low startup costs, low continuing expenses. As you scale this business, your only thing is finding people, finding employees, finding somebody that you can also trust to go out there and you could even hire them as contractors. Hey, I'll split the inspection fee with you or you get 70% and you can really scale this out um, from a contractor's perspective. You don't have to have people on payroll. You could literally say, hey, if I feed you an inspection, um, I'm gonna give you 70% of it 
and you don't have to worry about the marketing, you don't have to worry about a business, all you gotta do is pay you for it, find people who wanna do it as a side hustle, and you could really grow this business. Um, it's always gonna be needed, you're always gonna need an inspection on a house, if, you don't, if you're buying a house, you should have an inspection, if you don't, you're stupid, because you don't know what's behind the walls unless you're a licensed home inspector yourself. So there was things that I found in my house, because it was a brand new house, the builder forgot to cock a lot of the spots, and there was actually some water damage on the ceiling above the washer because the Freon leaked or something. They fixed that. Everything was fixed because the home inspector had a 40-page report, even on a new house. My house is brand new. And there was things that were incorrect on it. The home inspector found it, and we held the builder accountable to fix those items, and they fixed them, and then we knew that our house was up to code. My mom actually recently uh, built a house as well, and she... Uh, the home inspector found out that they did not put insulation in the attic. Did she ever look in there? No, she didn't. If the inspector wasn't there, she would have realized, oh, I don't have insulation in the attic. So having a home inspector is super important. It's always going to be needed. It can always be scaled. It can be scaled within reason. Again, you're going to have to have people in different areas that are willing to take some inspections. A little harder to scale, but again, this is uh, also a great side hustle. Maybe you're not going to. Maybe you don't want to do this full time. Maybe you'll do two or three a week, make some really good side money, and it's not really something that you have to do full time. But if you want to do it full time, you could really make some great money here. So what are we going to do to really start this business? How do we get in the mindset of making sure that this is is going to be successful. Well, what we always need to do in every business is think of the ways in which the business will fail. This will allow you to create strategies to ensure success in your business. If you're the biggest critic, you will find ways to lower those criticisms. So, number one is marketing. We need to make sure people know that we're in business so they can pay us to inspect houses. That means we need to do local marketing. Within reason, we need to create a website with SEO. So when people search property inspectors near me or wherever your city is, you show up. You need to network with home builders. Home builders are always um, having inspections and, and pointing people in the direction of an inspector. Network with realtors for sure. Network with mortgage brokers. Anybody in the real estate that's going to be tied to somebody buying a house, you need to have your name connected to them so when a referral comes up, it's sent to you. Because once you start getting referrals and you're doing a great job, that's not gonna change, okay? So next thing we need to do is we need to have good quality home inspections. We need to be licensed, we need to be good, we need to be finding stuff, we need to be something that a homeowner is relying on. We're relying on you to come into the house and tell me if something's wrong before I buy it. So if we do see something that's wrong, we can resolve that before the sale is final. We also need to show up on time. If you don't show up on time when you say you're supposed to, you're changing people's calendar, people are you know leaving their house, they're expecting you to be there for a time, period show up and if you don't show up you're going to be put out of business that's the biggest thing in this business is not showing up if you don't show up obviously no one's going to continue to pay you and they're not going to rely on you the next thing we need to do is legal up and what that means is we need to create an llc to separate our business from ourself so we have legal separation within limited liability company we also need to buy insurance because insurance is there for potential potential issues that may never occur but if they do we cannot retain that damage that means if somebody sues you for 500 grand, you have 500 grand in the bank. And if the answer is no, then you probably need to buy insurance. So if something happens, the insurance policy pays the 500 and you're only out your premium and deductible. Okay. The next thing is a customer agreement. This is an agreement that you're outlining your liabilities towards the inspection, that if something's missed, it may be out of your control, um, that not everything can be inspected possibly in a house. So having a good con contract with a, an attorney, a business attorney is really important because you don't want to be brought into a lawsuit that's not your fault. Okay. So get in contact with the local business attorney to write up that contract. It probably cost you around $500 to $1,000, but $500 to $1,000 now is better than uh, five to $10,000 in legal fees later, okay? So plan ahead, all right? So if you're looking to start this business and you have questions, feel free to comment below. If you'd always, my door is always open for a phone call. There's a link on my channel page where you can book a phone call with me. And I'd be happy to go through any business idea you have and help you start it with the best of my ability. Thank you so much.